Hello and welcome. Yesterday, the euro made several attempts to somewhat recover after significant fall since last Thursday. Today, the price may retrace up in the first half of the day before the FOMC meeting starts. Economic sentiment data that came out in the Eurozone and Germany yesterday were mostly unimpressive and missed market focused. In the United States, the PPI dropped to 8.3% in May from 8.8% in April. Today, the market will focus solely on the FOMC meeting. Speaking of the macroeconomic calendar, the Eurozone will see the publications of reports on its trade balance and industrial production. These results are unlikely to somehow affect the euro. As for important releases in the United States, it will be a retail sales report. Figures are estimated to fall to 0.2% versus 0.9%. The greenback may face so some pressure if the results come in disappointing. Of course, the main focus will be on the FOMC economic projections, the Fed's Eastress trade decision and Chairman Powell's press conference. The further movement of the era and the sterling will be determined by Mr. Powell's commands. As for the technical picture of Euro USD, the pair is still in the sideways range. The focus should be on the 1.0441 level. Bulls will try to regain control over this mark during the European session. The quote may go above 1.0480 should bulls test the 1.0441 level from top to bottom and create a buy signal. If the price consolidates above the 1.0480 mark and test it from top to bottom, another buy signal will be made with targets at 1.0525 and 1.0559. The pairs for the moment will depend on what Chairman Powell has to say. Alternatively, in case of a false breakout at 1.0480, the quote will get back to 1.0441 and a sell signal will be produced. Burrs will try to break and consolidate below the 1.0398 low with targets at 1.0353 and 1.0306. Long positions could be opened on a bounce from 1.0306, allowing a 1520 pips correction intraday. At the same time, it will be become possible to buy the pair from the 1.0353 mark after a false breakout only. When it comes to GBP USD, the situation is rather complicated here. Data on the claimant count, average earnings and unemployment in the UK came in disappointing. In this slide, the pound plummeted to 1.1938 yesterday. The sterling traded that low for the first time since the start of the pandemic. Today, the focus will be on 1.1989 in case of a false breakout of this mark or if the price goes above 1.2037 and test it from top to bottom, the sterling will retrace up to 1.2094 and 1.2153. The pair's further movement will be determined by Mr. Powell's speech. If there are some significant changes in the Fed's monetary policy, the dollar will strengthen in. If the regulator sticks to the plan, a bull's correction is likely, so the pound may show modest growth. A sell signal will be made after a false breakout at 1.2037, or if the quote returns to 1.1989, consolidates and tests the mark from bottom to top, in this case of a test of the 1.1989 level targets and seen at 1.1876 and 1.1816 long positions could be opened on a bounce from 1.1816, allowing a 25-30 pips correction intraday. 
buying from 1.1876 and 1.1938 could be considered after a false breakout only. All in all, the FOMC meeting will be the main driving force for risk assets and the dollar. Goodbye.